no matter what the matchup, it is going to come down to how well that Rob can utilize Gyro and control the neutral. And if you can stop the horizontal movement, at the very least, the ground movement of Fox, and there's a lot of ground to cover on Town and City, Charles, maybe that gives uh, Dill a chance. One billion dollars, not quite the amount that they're playing for, but a thousand dollars, not exactly anything to shake a stick at either, as we're going to uh, get that retro uh, Famicom skin on the Rob. I do like that. Oh, like, yeah. Maybe not uh, as much of a fan of it as that paint job is getting scuffed up as we speak. The up air is coming out quickly from Light. Yeah, some classic Rob stuff. And ooh, Light looking looking fancy with this top out here doing the uh, the recatch as well, getting a lot of damage. Uh, ooh, and the perfect Whoa. up tilt into the back air. Light is able to convert it off the ledge trap. This is where Fox needs to get any of the kills in most of the matchups. He wants to get them on stage or get them on that ledge. And Light is just doing that as well. Yep, back air trying to get Dill into a, another compromised position, and Dill thus far doing everything that they can, and no, no slouch by any stretch of the imagin imagination, top aiding one of the glitch events, as a matter of fact. Ooh. But yeah, the run up into the throw, and again, just Dill has not been able to uh, interrupt Light's game plan at all. Light has been fearless coming in with aerials, ground attacks, letting Dill jump into stuff even. This is very unrob like but going to catch that yeah. landing, and there's the Wally Wop to finish it <laughs> off. Got to love it. Dill fighting back here against one of the best in the world. Okay, this time Dill with the, uh, the uh, tech in place there. Dill took a ton of damage for missing that tech earlier in the last stock uh, for Light. And, you know, that down tilt for Fox usually is a huge combo starter, but on a character like Rob, where your frame's just that big, um, even though you do have that frame three air dodge, it's it's gonna be rough. Fox is gonna do a lot of damage. And here comes the pressure already, 143% can Dill land. <laughs> oh, they do, but it's tenuous. They do get the grab off. They gotta get these early percentage combos, but Light, Again, so good with their defensive movement, so good at cutting off combos by any means necessary. These aren't just panic options. They have studied these matchups. They played Rob once or twice in yeah, their life. So absolutely. I think that they would know how to deal with this. It's going to be the dare, however, late, making a mistake off of the edge. And, of course, Dill will absolutely rip your heart out. Ooh, gets the top hit. Wow, gonna call Ooh. out the jump. Light doesn't necessarily get the tech chase, but gets the situation after, which is key here. Um, and it, it's just really going back and forth. But here is the down tilt. Big damage here. The reset going to ledge. Dill not gonna take too much damage there. Yeah, I mean, all things considered, could have been a lot worse. But again, Dill has to know how to operate as this robot if they want to survive. And this is... Someone who is uh, as smart a player as you will ever find. The top going to do just enough. Trying to get that cheeky little uh, yeah. kill on the platform. Maybe a kill. So used to seeing side B killing. Excuse the, uh, excuse the nomenclature there, I suppose. But nevertheless, the top is in the hand of Fox. The Beyblade, oh no. Not quite going to do the job there. But we're seeing Dill hang in here with 130%. Not willing to give up the ghost, and rightfully so. You made a mistake going to that platform. And again, Dill, as cheeky a player as you will find, one of New York's finest and showing exactly why they're at the expense of light. Yeah, absolutely. Right there, really great recognition by Dill. Just seeing Light go for the double jump forward air. The reason why Fox players go for that is because when you um, do a forward air, forward air after the double jump, you get a little boost in vertical height. Uh, so Light trying to go for that platform there, maybe go for that high recovery. But Dill, we are offline. We can react to those options. So really great side beat from Dill. Dill able to close out that stock and close out that game. And this is something that we're not used to seeing. Light looking rather dejected. We don't even see the sleeves come up this time. And... It's, uh, I, I just don't really like the body language, if I'm being completely honest. Getting away from the game, it's such a weird thing to, like, have to get back into the swing of things competing. Yeah. It, this, this is their first tournament back, so something to be said about that. But, I mean, uh, Dill, nothing to take away from their performance. They brought it, and they, uh, they're not to be slept on.
Yeah, absolutely. Just and even even that game was so back and forth. Um, really couldn't tell who was in the driver's seat. Uh, the advantage state is so volatile for both of these characters. So back into it. Town and city is going to be the counter pick. We're going to have a lot of stage to work with the higher ceilings here. And but the uh, smaller side blast zone. So both these characters spots can set up kills with the back air, the forward smash. And of course, we've seen Rob kill many, many times with that side B as well. Yeah, so my question is, I mean, the stage has to be helping Dill here as Light is going to take an advantage. Uh, I don't know if you even call that a commentator's curse, to be honest with you. But nevertheless, um, the stage has to provide Rob with an inherent advantage, right? All that space to work with, Light has to close it down, makes it all the more reactable. It has to be Light reaching for pretty much everything. And even though Light seemed to be outplaying Dill for a good portion of that game, number one, still winds up, if you look at the scoreboard, you can tell who got that one. So oh, absolutely. I kind of wonder, maybe was this uh, was this game lost before it was ever it ever could be won by Light? Yeah, very true. And Light has racked up so much damage here. The oh, there's the nair into the jab. Wow, wow. Okay, I I was expecting an up smash, but uh, got a jab instead into the grab. The down smash will get the KO center stage, um, but nonetheless, 149 percent onto Dill. Uh, we'll see if Light can close this stock out. The forward air oh. into the up air. <laughs> it's uh, it's very interesting. There's there's definitely a lot of interesting combos and kill confirms that work on Rob. I guess that's one of them. Hey, don't get me wrong. Dill, she is on one today, but Light has not been able to uh, give up the ghost here. That, that is kill? a That kill, baby. You know what? <laughs> Forget what I said about Town and City. This is still Light. This is still one of the best players in the world. This is the best box that you can find on the planet Earth or indeed outside its atmosphere. We are going to a game three. And yeah, the pride of Connecticut light shining once again here at Momentus. Yeah, light coming through. That was a very confident game number two. Really, uh, and, and it kind of, I feel like light's confidence is slowly coming back. Uh, you know, I, I, I know on Twitter he's been saying he, he just has to, like, kind of get back into the groove of things. And, um, like, Light just didn't play too much during the Wi-Fi era. So um, definitely not making any excuses. But, you know, it, it, it is hard to get back into the swing of things. But just that game alone felt like, you know, Light would get a hit and really just convert off of it really well. The reactions were on point and just a very dominating game number two. Light played two tournaments in the Wi-Fi era. One was a juice box where they finished ninth. And it was a pretty impressive list of... Uh, list of people that they wound up beating people like mfa the olimar and 8-bit mm -hmm. man the 8-bit man you know the the rob right, so right. uh yeah going into this game number three it's not like they were lacking in practice the technical stuff is still there and they're going to go right back at it this fox has to taste the blood in its mouth and they're going to look to make this rob their prey Still going to have to get back to the stage, but Light has everything to gain here, but a whole lot to lose. If they lose this, they're ostensibly out of it after that loss to Tilde earlier on. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And, I mean, so far, wait, but Light has to get back on stage. Dill could take the stock real quick here. Up throw. Okay, setting up the top here. There it is again, the forward air into oh, the up air. I love, there you go. I love Light's usage of forward air. It, I mean, in the at the very start of this game, we saw so much damage get racked up from forward air into the up air. And even now, we're seeing Light land with forward air, which is definitely like, I don't see too much Foxes going for that kind of stuff. Landing into forward air, right into the up air, getting the KO, and even using it for damage. This is so innovative. And looking for that up air again, just Tacking on the damage, even though Town and City, one of the higher ceilings in competitive Smash Ultimate. Uh, <laughs> how things change between games, huh? But yeah, uh, yeah, oh. gonna catch that and Rob letting out a final cry. Uh, that can be, if you can even call it that, that's going to be Dill's final stock and gonna just sweep him off of the stage, <laughs> the Roomba. You know what? If you're a Rob, you do Rob things, and that yeah. definitely qualifies as a Rob thing. <laughs> That was the most Rob combo I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. And it didn't even use side B. That's the best part. Great conversion from Dill. Uh, I did not miss the Roomba as much as I thought I did. <laughs> I really didn't. <laughs> and man, what an explosive. Already 91%. And, you know, Light was able to get the second stock um, off of Dill with the usage of the down air. Down air did get buffed during quarantine as well. A lot more consistent. Almost going for it, or almost hitting that Nair into the up smash. Not quite there yet, but Light is still... Um, you know, pedal on the metal, just all on the gas here. Is this con the conversion? Oh. The tech chase goes for the grab instead of the up smash. 
Ooh, okay, oh. the jabs come out. That was close. Yeah, good roll. Okay, you gotta, I mean, you have to make light guess your landings one way or another. I know that they can cover it, but it's gonna be the up smash that winds up doing it. Yeah, there's plenty of coverage there. And light, I mean, the difference that we saw between the beginning of game two and the end now, I mean, they.